goal setting is such an important part of, of my treatment plan. Um, as I said earlier, patients and to care. What I mean by that is I have to understand what the person you know, uh, is thinking, what they value. Uh, it's really understanding who that person is. So goal setting is, is based on that. So um, actually, interestingly, it does take a lot of time. I, I, I used to think that goal setting, come on, just give me the list and I'll, I'll help you. you know, I'll give. But most of the time, they give you vague goals. Uh, the most classic, I, I would say, you know, more than 75% of the time is, I want to get better. That's the, that's the goal number one, <laughs> which is great goal. I mean, I hear you. I want to help you get better too, but uh, let's, let's break it down a little bit more. What does that mean? What, what, better from what? This is where, again, uh, if I did my job, I can understand what that person means by now because I did all this exhaustive interview, <laughs> getting to know their background and uh, their premorbid condition. So when, I, when they say, uh, I want to get better. I know I kind of have a vague idea what they means, uh, what they mean, but uh, I still want something specific. Okay, but what areas is the most important? So I, we walk them through. Um, so I never force anything because this is very important part of my uh, uh, treatment formulation. Because I, I, so that's why I say up front. You know, actually, the program I'm devising for you is um, it's like this. It's like you have to be the driver of this car. And I cannot drive it for you, but uh, I'll be next to you and the team, my team will be next to you and help you, coach you to, to drive and actually uh, be the person that you can be or, or go back to who you were. Uh, but we need you to help us participate in this actively. Uh, you cannot just come and show up and just expect to get better. Um, so, so they get that, so we are on, you know, on the same page, so they go, they actually, we walk through. So uh, I'll just give you an example. Um, uh, if this IT guy is like, Doc, I can't, I'm going to lose my job because I can't read, I can't read this uh, emails or I can't read all these things that I'm supposed to read and I can't do anything. Well, so certainly um, any kind of visual activity improving visual activity is very important, right? And he goes, yeah, well, let's put that as a goal. So that's like goal number one. And so that actually um, triggers a lot of things. Uh, to me, it's not just visual, um, like uh, visual vision therapy for per se. It's actually, there's a lot of cognitive training that can be done. Um, so I'm thinking about already what kind of team members I'm going to bring up to, to help this achieve these goals. So the other person goes, you know, then the next could be um, such as, you know, I cannot play with my son as I used to, for example. Uh, that's, that's actually, that's very, very, very difficult goal too, because what does that mean? I mean, um, the way I think about playing my son is like, I don't know, throwing balls with them. <laughs> but I, I was surprised to find some people playing with son is actually, it's laughing, you know, talking, and you know, there's a lot of, uh, cues going, body language going on. It's not so much about action. Um, so um, that, that changes, right? So if it's action, yeah, then you definitely have to use your arms and back and you have back pain. Man, you have shoulder pain. How are you going to do that? Yeah, that's the point. So, okay, well, then we have to get physical therapists to help you focus on that. Forget about the balance. This guy needs to throw. You know? So get, your, get his shoulder worked up. Don't even bother with the, um, with the balance things. You know, such, you know, things like that. So I'm thinking all this uh, different, so I'm starting to formulate the treatment plan as, I, as, I, as we develop the functional goals. I call it functional goals. Um, so don't tell me you want to get rid of the headaches because I, I will help you with that, that's given. But uh, tell me more specific activity related goals that you want to, to achieve. And those are the things that we go through. Then after I look at the list of goals, then I think about uh, the, the meet team members that I have, uh, my staff, and the tools that we have to sort of put this put together uh, to come up to achieve these goals. Those are the, the treatment phase, or I call it rehab phase that I'm thinking about uh, with the patient.